Hey guys, it's GhostCuber, and today I'm going to be giving you a detailed look at the upcoming Moyu Weilong AI Smart Cube. Before I get started, I want to thank Phil for letting me bring this puzzle home for the weekend to make this video, and also to the Moyu engineers for having a conversation with me this morning about the features of this cube to make sure I can provide you with accurate information. So let's get started. In the box you get a regular carrying case, a charging case, an accessories box, and a pamphlet, which I actually recommend reading because it has some very helpful information. I'm going to start with the accessories. First of all, there is a micro USB charging cable, which goes into the case and this end goes to any charging adapter like a computer or a power brick. There's also a bag with some extra center caps, an adjustment tool, and a MoYu logo. And finally, some documentation. You may have noticed that the cube has holes in the white center cap, and there's also one in yellow. Out of the box, all of the center caps have holes, but it comes with an extra set that are solid, and I've replaced all of them except white and yellow. Removing a center cap reveals the adjustment system. On the outside, there's the familiar blue dual adjustment system, and the inside has this nut type thing. The outside can be adjusted normally by turning the wider side of the tool counterclockwise, and the inner part can be tensioned with the other side of the tool, using it like a screwdriver. Next, I'm going to talk about the charging case, which is probably the most complicated part of this puzzle. It has these two arms that separate, and then you can put the cube in to charge it. But there are a lot of things you need to know about this case. First of all, it has this light here, which seems to indicate that the cube is charging, but it's actually not. If you plug the cube in without plugging the case into something, it is pulling battery from the cube to power this light. It does not have a battery in the case. It also has a switch on the bottom with D and C. C is what you're going to use pretty much all the time, and that's the standard charging side. If you plug the cube in, plug this into something, and put it on C, the cube will charge. D is intended to fix the issue that some other smart cubes, such as the GoCube had, where after you don't use it for a long time, the battery will just go to sleep and you can never charge it again. If you use the D side, make sure that with the lights facing the front, the yellow side is on the left, white is on the right. Then plug in the case, flip the switch to D, and then back to C, and it should start charging again. Doing this is not good for the battery, so only do it if it will not charge otherwise. And I would actually recommend putting a piece of tape over the switch to make sure it's not actually put on D. Now let's take a look at the cube itself. This puzzle is based on the WRM2020. It has identical pieces, as you can see here. Unfortunately, I don't have a WRM2020 with me, but if you have one, you can compare them. Performance is pretty standard. Corner cutting is a bit over 45, and reverse is just under a piece. Turning is very fast and smooth, and I've slowed it down a little bit. You can also see that the electronics are sort of exposed, so I would avoid using water-based lube in this puzzle because it could potentially damage something. But I just used weight 5 and it seems to be working well. Now I'm going to show you some of the software associated with this cube, starting with the MoYu app. Unfortunately, it's currently only in Chinese, so I can't show you everything, but I will show you a little bit of the functionality and show the cube in action. So the first time you open the app, you will be prompted to enter a phone number, and then you'll need to enter the security code they sent you. I have already done this, so I'm going to move on to connecting the cube. So I'm going to push the timer button at the bottom of the screen, and then the timer button at the top of the screen. Then you can turn any side of the cube 360 degrees, and the device will see it, then tap on that number, And sometimes you have to try it a couple times, but eventually it will connect. Now you can push the back button and then the timer again. And start solving. Unfortunately, you currently have to have yellow on top and blue in front to scramble, but I'm hoping that 
that will eventually be changed. As you can see, the cube does have a gyroscope, so it tracks rotations. It seems to be very accurate, but occasionally it drifts, so you will have to click on the cube and drag it to where it needs to be. I'm solving through the viewfinder, so this will be a bit rough. Okay, that was a terrible solve, but hopefully it'll show you the functionality. And as far as I can tell, the left stat is TPS, the middle is move count, and the right is fluency, which is the amount of time during the solve that you are actually turning. And I'm going to do one more solve. And here's something I really like about the Moyu app over other programs. So as you can see, there's a DU in the scramble, and if you do UD, it still works. Most other programs would make you undo those moves and redo them. Okay, so that is the Moyu app, and now I'm going to show you QBeast. So you can use the connect button and then tap on the cube, pair. And QBeast does not support the gyroscope, but you can still do solves. Okay, so my solving is still terrible right now, but hopefully you get the idea, and I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye.